Welcome back to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today I'm going to play Terraformers Demo. This is part of the Steam Game Next Festival. Now, I am really excited for this game, and first of all, this is probably the most Polish demo I've played so far during this festival, but also because this is a city builder where you're trying to create a colony on Mars, and uh, it's kind of like a city builder where you have these sort of like... Um, predetermined spots where you build your type of buildings and what buildings you get are kind of somewhat randomized. It feels like if you combine maybe like a deck builder with a city builder but you do not actually have cards. It's it's a really fun game. I'm enjoying it a lot and it's, it's very it's very well done. Like it, the demo is like a top-notch quality. Because the demos have such a big range, you know, some demos are very basic and very like just kind of showing you off But it's kind of clear that it's more like an alpha demo and some demos are like wow And this is a really good looking demo. I like it a lot And the game also looks, looks like it's gonna be super fun So yeah, so let's go 2050 after the space industry boom in the 30s which led to a first outpost on the moon Earth's nation have now come together to establish a permanent settlement on Mars you appointed to lead this endeavor, of course, I'm super qualified for this. It is your responsibility to guide the first settlers on Mars to explore the Red Planet, develop infrastructure and start the terraforming efforts. Earth has sent some, some resources to start the settlement and proposes some leaders to represent you on Mars. New Palikir is the name of my city. Now on the left you can see my resources. I've got 9 food, 8 titanium, 0 tritium, 0 silicates, 0 nitrates, no power, no water, no science, and no wealth. You can use wealth to actually exchange it, but it's at a very bad rate. I have to give them two of my resources to get one of theirs, so it's a super bad rate. The goal of the game is to keep your popularity up, or support, it's called support actually. And you do this by like building new buildings and making people happy. Now, first thing we have to do is we have to choose a leader. Okay, we actually have a different options than I did in my previous demos. Okay, so we've got Thomas Foster. His ability is to explore and mine. So explore means that he can... Everybody has ability to explore. It just means that he can go to a different region and try to get some right resources from it. Then he has an ability to mine. What does that mean is that if you have some areas like Borealis here, it has a titanium uh, deposit. So essentially we can go there and mine it. And this will give us... Um, uh, he can go there and mine it, Thomas can go there and mine it, and he will give me like a one-time resource of titanium, but he can mine it once per every turn. Or if we go to Alba, we can get silicate, so this could be pretty useful. Now what does Misha do? She can explore as well. Ooh, so she can give me every turn I could get five signs from her, or pick all projects that suggest this turn for free? Oh, we gotta go with her. Girl, let's go. And she's loved. The fact that she's loved is great. He's only popular, so people won't be so excited with him. But uh, she's loved. This is amazing. Misha is an expert in Arctic biology and genetics. Born the daughter of a famous Japanese scientist couple, she always had to live up to high expectations. Inspired by the challenge of spending life in an extremely cold and hostile climate, she signed up for the Mars colonization program. Okay, I'm gonna call her Zemkat instead of Misha after one of my patrons. And we've got our girl. So let's go to New Palikir. So far there's nothing here, just our headquarters. So we're gonna start and we're gonna build a greenhouse farm. Which is gonna cost me 8 water and give me plus 1 food per turn. And then I'm gonna go outside and I'm going to explore Alba here. Because this should give me 4 uh, silicates and 3 water. Oh, I actually I should have read the text. I apologize for that. We'll read it later. N next turn. I mean, we can read it, but we'll read the next one. <laughs> Sorry about that. So with her, I could take both of these. So I could get Entertainment Center, which means that any adjacent population provides support. This could be quite useful. And it's not expensive. I just need three titriates and three energy. Or I could get Laboratory, which gives me science. This is not that important to me because she can give me science, but I'm going to grab both of them because let's do it. All right, but first we're going to jump to New Palikir and we need to build our habitation model. Now we want to make sure that we build it around this spot in the middle. Yeah, because that has four connection, which is the best I can get. So that in the middle I can build my entertainment center. 
And this is going to give me a lot of support because it's going to be surrounded by habitation modules. This is going to be the fun city. New Palika is where you go to have fun. Let's go. Now, this means I can um, increase the city. I can expand it. The only way, where, place where I can expand it is in Alba because it's the only other area that I've explored. But this is actually really good for me because I'll be able to build a, a silicate mine. For this, I need eight titanium and I'm going to be able to get plus one silicate every single turn. Nanga Group, one of the big players in the food industry on Earth, offers to set up a high-tech food lab. Yes, that's great. The generosity may or may not be a way to generate buzz and cover some scandals. For 18 science. Oh, but this gives me science? I thought you were gonna give me food, man. I don't care about science. My girl can do science for me. I don't need you. Ah, uh, we're just gonna say no. What is this? A way to get power, but we don't have tritium and we don't have any way to get tritium anytime soon. But the electro beam printer is kind of pointless, I don't really care about it. So we're gonna grab the tritium thing. I would really love... I could get... Nitrates. Mainly used for food production and the spreading of life. I could... Build a laboratory, maybe. Let me actually explore the Borealis Occidental, I guess. The resources perspective of the region is really a deposit of nitrates. Now, could I build? Yeah, but I would need a titanium, which I don't have. But then I could have a constant source of nitrates, which would be quite useful. But right now, let's go to our city and let's build a laboratory. Somewhere far away, like here, where no one cares about it. So this means I'm going to get a constant source of science, which I think is quite nice. Okay, what is this? Another habitation module would be great. Yeah, we gotta take another habitation module. Girl, I need you to explore some more. I need titanium. So let's go to Arcadia Miner. So which means we get a... Uh, Oh, this region has a feature which will certainly be a symbolic landmark for the people. We can collect the samples recovered while prospect. We get 11 support, but only 2 titanium. I need... I need... 8. Now, this is a crater, which means that we will be able to find found a new city. But for this, we'll need food, water, and titanium. So we're not anytime near, anywhere near that yet. Now, if we had a lot of resources, or if we had plus two somewhere, what we could do is we could just kind of take these away and get it, get it to get wealth points, which we can use to buy other things. But right now, I don't think we can do it. So let's just continue our turn. We're going to try to get some science from her. As time goes by, your people start having higher expectations for their lives on Mars. We will strive to meet them, she says. Twelve? Science to get support or another laboratory. I'm gonna grab the other laboratory. I think that could be useful. I'm gonna keep exploring one of these because I really think that if we could get eight titanium, getting the source of nitrates could be really useful. I feel like. I can't really build much, which is a little sad for me. Three energy, how hard would that be to get? Give me a constant source of support. We're losing three because of expectation, but we're gaining two because of new Palikia and one because of leader popularity. Would love to get more. more. But we can't do anything, we're just gonna have to wait. Okay. More power, or we could get atmosphere and oxygen. I'm gonna grab this, but I don't really need it. I'm gonna try to get some more. I think I'll keep trying for the titanium. Let's go to Scandia. Okay, we now have 10 titanium. So we're gonna get some nitrates. Oh, I have to explore. Uh, how do I? Oh, I have to move there to control it. Okay, so not yet. But still, with this many titanium, I could try to get the entertainment center. If I were to sell off some of my science? Not gonna be enough, though. We'll, we'll try to bait it out a little bit. So far, we're good good over here. More habitation models and more tuber farms. Actually, gonna try, I'm, I'm gonna grab the habitation module. No, actually, we're gonna grab the tuber farm. And then we're going to explore some more. 
What else do I need right now? I'd like some energy. I can get energy. Or we could go to Olympus, which is going to give us a little bit of everything. 12 support and a lot of everything. Now we've got a lot of water, which means if I had four oxygen factor, I don't really need it. You need two more nitrates, which I could get from losing some science and I could build a laboratory. I think we'll do that. We're going to sell some science, get two nitrates, and I'm going to build a laboratory here. This means I get two science per turn. This is huge because every turn I can essentially take away my science and use it to get one of something else. To increase their prestige, two big corporations offering to set up a trading route and supplies the city of your choice with a valuable resource. Yes! I could get nitrates or silicates. Now, silicates would be huge because I would be getting two silicates per turn, which would be really exciting because I could take silicates away to get other things, but I think they have to go for nitrate because right now that's something that I need. A school. A school gives me science and make adjacent habitation people more popular. Or public baths, which gives support by... I don't think I take the public baths. It gives supports by itself, which is amazing. Now, I still can't explore my region. What am I trying to build here, is the question. Nitrates, the tuber farm is going to take a little while. The food as well. But I could try to work on the entertainment center. If I get rid of some of my sons, I could get two energy. And if I tell her to do some research, I could get three energy. Now I can jump in, I can build the entertainment center over here. Now I'm assuming that the, this support is going to get increased. Even, even if I build like a habitat here later, it should give me the effect of this. An entertainment center featuring arcade zones, cinemas, and other forms of entertainment. So we're going to have two more habitats here. Towards the next turn. Thermo generator or CO2 factory? Guess we'll grab the CO2 factory? I don't really care. Now. I would love to build something. To build a new city, I would need 10 food. I wonder if that would be useful or if that's going to lower my expectation a little too much. Let's explore like this so we can get more water. We have 13 water so I could build a bath. Okay, if I jump here and I build the bath over here, then the cities that are here and here is going to give me extra bonus. Or I could pl place it like this and have two bonuses from this. Let's do it that way. So we get plus five support, that is huge. And that should hopefully help me so I could build a new city and actually don't have to worry about them being mad at me. Now, anything else? We really don't have enough for to generate it, but which would mean, but we could do, we could do a tuber farm. I could get three wealth from the science. Which would give me three of nitrates, that's not enough. I could get my food up to seven. And next time we, we could do there. Ah, now it's six support. So we're actually losing one support per turn. That's actually pretty bad. And drone hub provides plus one resource type robots. Not sure how that is going to be useful. Let's get rid of some of the science. Try to get even more science from her. And we're going to build the next habitation module here which will give me a lot more support. So now we get plus one support. We have so high support, this is kind of amazing. But I, I really gotta focus on building a new city, I think. Okay, great, we can, we can expand our region, so that's great. Laboratory gives me more science. Uh, actually, um, do we wanna grab both? So we could build this medical center pretty quickly, maybe even in the new city. Let's grab both. Now. I would like to expand my region here to the Borealis Occidental and build a pit mine. So now we get plus two nitrates per turn. In order to get this Arcadia thing, I need five titanium, five water, and ten food. And I'm not getting any one of these resources. 
Actually, I'm getting food. What did it say again? Five titanium. Let's work on that. Five water. Interesting. I would love another tuber farm and in a few turns we can actually build it. Wind farm. Gives me power. That would be cool as well. Let's explore the Amazian's miner. We need okay, we've got we've got enough titanium now. We've got a lot of science. But right now I need water. So I'm actually gonna get rid of the science. Actually, do we want to? Yeah, because I can't use science to build anything exciting. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of one of these signs, get the nitrate, so that next time I could build a tuber farm. I feel like that could be useful. A new leader rises. Alex grew up in the Nabimi, and his family was a part of the program for registered farming lands among the Nabimian population. Like his father, he studied desert farming abroad and spearheaded new techniques which became extremely useful in the growing of corpse and space stations. He joined the Mars colonization with his family as an expert in agriculture. He's now available to hire as a leader pen. Ooh. A rally is scheduled to update the population on the current Mars society development and motivate their efforts. What do you want to emphasize? Plus five support. I don't need the support, so I'm gonna take uh, double the resource production this turn. Okay, and I could get for four nitrates. No, that's not as good. Marsha, which gives me support and housing. Sure. Okay. I need, still need five water and ten food. But I could now build this tuber farm here, which would give me more food. Great. The science? I wanted to build it in the new city. Let's try to explore something. Ideally something with water? Yeah, this. This gave me 10 support, I didn't really need it, but okay. If I build a city, oh, it's a tourist attraction. Okay, I don't need that. Lava tube. Find lava tube city. For this, I would need. I want to. I want. I don't. Know, I want to know what lava tube city is. It sounds fun. So five water, ten food. So it's the same setup as here. And what is this? Giant mineral cave. Because I could get titanium from this, which would be also nice. Five water, ten food. So five water is easy. And 10 food is going to happen in a few turns. Or I could get rid of some of these minerals and speed myself up to there a little bit. Now, if you get over 40, it's a little bit of a problem. So you want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So let's wait for next turn. Yeah, like now we're over. Okay, but we could build a school plus one science. Uh, we, we, we could build it in the new city or even in the old one. Okay, I'm actually going to have to get rid of some of the science so that I can build this city here in the lava tube. Go. This is going to be Box Haven. And we're going to make it orange. So we'll build the headquarters right here. We have over 100 popularity. And I need to build a laboratory. Actually, I don't really need that, but I'm going to build it here. It doesn't give anybody any bonus, so we can just build it in a corner there. And once we get enough signs, we'll be able to build the medical center. Oh, and we wanted to build school. We don't have enough for school right now. But school would be useful because I could build it in the middle and then have like three habitation modules. Or actually here. And then have one habitation model from the headquarters and then two more over there. I should also... Wait, and this... But does this give me again a plus four support the medical center? I don't really care about that. Let's explore some more. We'll explore the Serenius. Okay, get science and other things. What is this place? Oh, I need titanium for this. I will end our turn. The Marx Foundation is proposing a large cash price to push research in a specific field. What kind of technology can we use the most? Plus one support for every mine? 
produces one food, but this is just a regular farm. Or gas factory. I guess the miner's cottage is the best because it gives us, it seems to give me like a bonus that's like throughout the whole planet essentially. Ooh, magnetic fusion plant gives me a lot of power, but everything else is bad. I guess I'll pick it anyway. Okay, we, next time I can build the medical center, not that I need it. I need a way to get titanium. So we're gonna explore this Arabus. Five titanium. And I'm gonna get rid of some of my science. So I can now build here titanium mine. Oh, I can't. But I could get... Oh, I cannot get a titanium mine. I was really hoping I could. Hmm. But let's get a water mine. Then this will have a source of water. Now, if we could only get to two energy, I could build the drone hub. And I want to try it. I'm going to build it in Boxhaven. Plus one resource type robot. So we're going to place it over here. I don't know if it's building with drone suited for a wide variety of It doesn't actually seem to like say that it's like giving me anything specific. Maybe it's not part of the game yet. Like I can build another drone up, but like what does it do? Well, I can expand my city. But I can't expand it to anywhere where there are the mines that I want. I need to expand it to like there and I can't do that. So we'll expand it down here. And maybe we'll get another silicate deposit soon. Or the tourist attraction could be fun, but our support is just amazing. We don't need to really worry about it. We're only halfway through our turns and our support is through the roof. But I think this is actually a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments and you can click on the right to watch some other games that you've on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye bye.